Welcome to update number three of the Dora build. Uh, what I've got done so far, I've got my base done which is about four foot long and 14 inches wide. I plan to do a small little die along here but where I'm at the moment is I've got the sections of track added with the track now installed. Again I haven't glued it completely long, it's just in between these little couplings. I also have the uh, I suppose they're called braces or clamps or whatever I like to call them myself. They're installed and nicely detailed. So I'll bring it down for a quick look at the detail and uh, later on then we'll uh, continue on and show you the kind of modifications that we're doing to poss possibly the end of the track and a few things that are not that they could have done and they didn't because I think they just built the space just for doors to sit on but uh, you know, I'd like to kind of uh, give it that extra bit of detail, and the extra bit of detail I'll show you when heavy down the bench. Okay, welcome down to the bench. Uh, just to give you an idea of the detail this thing has. These are the couplings it's on about, and of course they run all the way along the track. Quite a big track. So that's where I'm at with that. Again, like I said, I haven't got them fully secured yet. Let's glue them all along here. So now, uh, like I said, we're going to show you what the modifications we're going to do now, and we'll uh, we won't actually pause. So what we'll do is we'll go straight into it. This is it. Okay, the modifications I have to do for here or along here. <coughs> now, originally, if you go to scale. These uh, these would have been too long to carry, too heavy. So what actually was going by a reference photo, these were actually split. There were two separate timbers. And here, a reference photo, we can see exactly what I'm on about, because you can see these spacers in between that join the two timbers. We've got two, four, six, eight bolts in them, which join the timbers. So. This is a modification I'm going to have to do, which will run along here. So I plan to use uh, some styrene and cut them to the roughly the the size I need. And yes, <laughs> install them all the way in along up to the top, and possibly create some sort of way of doing. Look, that I can do the bolts, so it gives that extra bit of detail. Maybe not. We'll see. You know. Now, these guys, what they are, there's loads of different ideas of what these are, but I think myself that the Eudora, when it was prepared to fire, it would sit down inside these things. And you only really see that when you see the Dora built. Um, if I can just go here by the reference photo. Here. I reckon that's set on these inside. Now you have one, middle, outer, middle, outer. So we, this is the, the problem I think. That's, I can't really get a, a good photo of the right hand side of that track but this is just going off what, what I think myself. So we have the middle, outer, middle, outer. I'm thinking there's no way that that outer one would sit there and hold up that gun. So I think I can't get any reference photos that could tell me that I think these are a little longer, this side of the track. So I reckon they could be out to about here. I don't know. I can't be 100% sure. I'm just going on logically that this big beam that's almost half the width of the track is going to fit that. The only thing I can see, roughly, if you think about it, look at these guys standing here. There seems to be a lot of room there. You know, if you were to put men's feet in that thing, you don't even hold one, wouldn't it? Anyway, that's a problem. And I hope to, uh, well, I hope to get over that problem, and as you do. If not, so look, we'll, we'll get over it, we'll give it a try. Alright. So that's my update. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.
with Kevin Egan.